Smile and learn. Hello, everyone. What's the weather like today? Let's look out the window. Ugh, it's cold and raining. Dang, today is definitely not a beach day. To know what the weather is like, we can look outside and observe it with our senses, like I just did. Humans have been doing this for thousands of years, but it's a bit old-fashioned, don't you think? Today, meteorologists, or scientists who study weather, use weather instruments to observe weather patterns, which turns them into... Psychics! Yes, you heard me right! By studying and measuring patterns in precipitation, humidity, atmospheric pressure, temperature, or wind, meteorologists can see into the future and know what the weather is going to be like, as if they were psychics. Well, maybe not psychics exactly. Perhaps I am exaggerating a little. <laughs> really, it's all about making predictions. Science, my friends, sometimes it seems like magic. Today I'm going to show you some weather instruments that tell us about precipitation and humidity. And by the end of this video, you will know all about these magical instruments. <laughs> Let's get started. Rain gauge. The rain gauge is an instrument that measures precipitation or water in the form of rain, snow, or hail that falls from the sky. There are several types of rain gauges, but this one is the simplest. It's a container that you put in a flat, open area to collect rainwater. It has an open top to let water in. After it rains, you measure the water in the container and record the total amount of rain that fell. When we look at a rain gauge, we can see the marks on the side. They indicate the amount of precipitation that fell. If meteorologists see that it has rained a lot, they can predict floods. If, on the other hand, meteorologists see that it has rained very little, they can predict droughts. Did you know that droughts can happen because of global warming? When the Earth warms up, it can affect normal rainfall patterns, so some places don't get as much rain as they need. That's why it's super important to avoid climate change by taking care of the planet. So don't forget to watch your water consumption. Every drop counts. Hygrometer a hygrometer is an instrument that measures relative humidity, which is the amount of water vapor that the air can contain. What does this mean? Imagine that relative humidity is like a giant sponge in the air. The sponge can absorb water. If the sponge is really wet, we say that the relative humidity is high. But if the sponge is only a little wet, the relative humidity is low. Hygrometers help us to know how much water is in the sponge or the air. Most hygrometers today are digital and use sensors. But the simplest ones work by a material such as cloth or paper in a frame that's connected to a needle. When there is high humidity, the material expands. And in a dry environment, it shrinks. The expansion or shrinking moves the needle to point to the percentage of relative humidity. Indoors, a relative humidity of anywhere from 30 to 60% is recommendable. Here we can see that the hygrometer needle points to 50, which means that the relative humidity is 50%. Okay! Outdoors, if there is high relative humidity, it can cause the heat or cold to feel more extreme. High relative humidity can also suggest that it is going to rain, or even storm. So in short, rain gauges measure the amount of water that falls from the sky, and hygrometers measure the amount of relative humidity in the air. There are still a few more weather instruments to discover. Don't miss them in the next episode. 
Wow, it stopped raining. I'm going to the beach. See you later. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn. Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.